Welcome to the web-based training guide of how to create a simple advertisement using Adobe InDesign CS5 on Microsoft Windows. You'll be taken through four step-by-step -step instruction videos. The first is an introduction to ad creation and the InDesign program. It will give you some background on the software, as well as some useful tips such as theories behind advertising and organizing your files. Then. The video helps you set up the InDesign program by selecting appropriate settings before you begin creating your ad. The second video will be about adding and formatting graphics and Im images. The third video will be about adding and formatting text. The final video will be about preparing your advertisement for publishing by exporting it into a PDF file. First. Download the files located on the link on the page. We'll be using these files to create our ad. Now, before you start creating the ad, let's take a minute to understand the basic theory behind an effective ad. The ad that we're producing is based upon the Ogilvy method, a set of guidelines developed by advertising icon David Ogilvy. According to the Ogilvy method, an ad should include five elements, a visual, like a photograph or an illustration, a slogan for the visual, a headline, tagline, or claim, some advertising copy, and a signature or sign-off containing the company's contact information. Now that you see how the Ogilvy method applies to the ad, let's start doing some work. First, before you open Adobe InDesign, let's set up a file folder so that all our future files are organized and easy to find, especially for someone who might need to work with their files later on. Create a new file at a desired location on your computer. We should name the folder in a useful way, perhaps using a file name that includes your last name, the name of the project, and the project's start date. This way, our colleagues can tell which project and which files are in this folder very quickly. Within this folder, create a new folder named Assets. This is where we'll store the images you downloaded to make the ad. Our second step is to open Adobe InDesign and to modify InDesign's preferences to use inches instead of picas. Open InDesign from wherever it is stored on your computer and close any dialog boxes that appear. Next, open the Edit menu and select Preferences to Units and Increments. Change the horizontal and vertical ruler units to inches, then press OK. Once we've modified InDesign's preferences, we have to create a new InDesign document. From the File menu, select New Document. We'll customize the page size so that we'll be working on a 7 by 8.5 inch canvas. Ensure that our page size is set to Letter, then change the width to 7 inches and the height to 8.5 inches. Press OK. Congratulations, we've completed the first step of this tutorial. Before proceeding to the next section, we should save your blank document so that you can revert back to it if necessary. From the File menu, select Save As. Name your file Jessica underscore Simpson underscore 
add and press save.